Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic problem. Now, make sure to stick us the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have a plus 2ab plus b is equal to 9. So, I want to find the value of a plus b. So, for my solution, first start with a plus 2ab plus b is equal to 9. Now, I'm actually going to multiply both sides by 2. So now I have a plus 2ab plus b times 2 is equal to 9 times 2. Now, for 2 times a plus 2ab plus b, I'm going to distribute the 2. So 2 times a, that's 2a, plus 2 times 2ab is 4ab, plus 2 times b, that's 2b. And now 9 times 2, that's 18. Now, from 2a plus 4ab, I can actually factor out 2a. So now I have 2a times, well, 2a divided by 2a is 1, plus 4ab divided by 2a. 4a divided by 2a is simply 2, and then all that's left is b, so i have left with 2b. So I have 2a times 1 plus 2b, and then we can't forget our plus 2b at the end. This is equal to 18. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add 1 on both sides. So now I have 2a times 1 plus 2b plus... 2b plus 1 is equal to 18 plus 1, which is 19. Now, 2b plus 1, we can rewrite as 1 times 1 plus 2b. So now, if I factor out 1 plus 2b from here, I get 1 plus 2b times, all that's left is 2a plus 1. And this is equal to 19. So now, as you can see, all three of these are going to be odd. Because 2 times any number is going to be even, and an even number plus 1 is going to be odd. So same goes with 2a and 2b. So this is odd, this is odd, and 19 is also odd. So now, if I set 1 plus 2b equal to 1, then this means that 2a plus 1 has to equal 19, because 1 times 19 is equal to 19. So now if I set 2a plus 1 equal 19, now, now I can simply solve for b and a. So let's first start with 1 plus 2b. So I have 1 plus 2b is equal to 1. I'm going to first cancel these 2's out. So I have 2b is equal to 0 meaning b is equal to 0. So this is the value of b. Now for 2a plus 1 equals 19, you can simply subtract 1 on both sides. These two cancel out. So I'm left with 2a equals 18. Now if I divide both sides by 2, I'm left with a is equal to 9. So the value of b is 0, and the value of a is 9. So b, now we need to find the value of a plus b. Well, if we know that b is 0 and a is 9, well, 9 plus 0, that's simply equal to 9, meaning a plus b is equal to 9. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 12. So I'm going to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 12. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 3 to the power of x plus 1, we can write this as 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. Now, this is equal to 12. 
Now 12, this is the same thing as 3 times 4. So now I have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3 times 4. So now 3 to the power of 1, that's the same thing as 3. So I have 3 to the power of x times 3 is equal to 3 times 4. So now these two 3s can simply cancel out. And now I'll be left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 4. So now, this 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to first take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 2 to the power of 2. So if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x and log 2 to the power of 2. I can move this x to the front, and I can move this 2 to the front. So now I have x times log 3 is equal to 2 times log 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 2 times log 2 over log 3. Now the value of log 2 is equal to 0 0.301. And log 3, this is equal to 0 0.4771. So I've now if I plug these values in into our equation here, get x is equal to 2 times 0 0.301 over log 3, which is 0 0.4771. Now 2 times 0 0.301, that's equal to 0 0.602. So I have this over 0 0.4771. And if I divide these two, 0 0.602 divided by 0 0.4771, this is equal to approximately 1.26. So x is equal to 1.26. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve an interesting exponential equation. So my equation is 100 to the power of x is equal to 400. And I wanna find the value of x. So we see that x is going to be in between 1 and 2 because 100 to the power of 1 is 100 and 100 to the power of 2 is 10,000. So it's going to be more closer to 1 than it is 2, but it's going to be somewhere in the range of 1 and 2. So to solve this, what I'm going to be using is logarithms. So I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 100 to the power of x is equal to log 400. And if I have something in the form of log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent to b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 100 to the power of x. I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 100 is equal to log 400. Now, I'm going to take the log of base 100. So 
log base 100 of 100 is just 1. And log base 100 of 400, well, 400 is the same thing as 100 times 4. So I can rewrite this as log base 100 of 100 times 4, which is equal to log of 4 over log of 100. And I have 1 plus this because of this. So now log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 100 is the same thing as log of 10 squared. So I can move the 2 to the front and the 2 to the front over here. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 10. These two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 10, which is equal to 0 0.301. So x is equal to 1.301.